Today, at DreamfireFilms.com, we're going to master Runway's AI video generator by going over exactly how they say we should use it. Just like any new skill, we need to understand the principles and reasons behind what we're doing to become the best at it. This is the prompting guide, which was written by Runway, so all credit to them. But I'm going to read it for you since I think it's extremely important for anyone wanting to become a pro at this to get very familiar with it. Avoid negative phrasing such as the camera doesn't move in your text prompts. Use a simple and direct prompt that describes the desired movement when using an input image. You do not need to describe your input image in a text prompt. Prompting basics. All prompts should be direct and easily understood, not conceptual. When crafting a prompt, it can be helpful to pretend that you're describing a scene to a new collaborator who is unfamiliar with your previous work and preferred aesthetic. This new collaborator will be responsible for filming the scene that you're describing. So ensure that important elements are conveyed with clarity. Avoid using overly conceptual language and phrasing when a simplistic description would efficiently convey the scene. Don't say a man hacking into the mainframe. Say a man vigorously typing on the keyboard. Prompts should be descriptive, not conversational or command-based. While external LLMs thrive on natural conversation, Runway's models are designed to thrive on visual detail. Including conversational additions to your prompt will not bring value to your results and could even negatively impact your results in certain cases. Don't write, can you please make me a video about two friends eating a birthday cake? Write, two friends eat birthday cake. Using a command-based prompt may have a similar negative effect as it may not include sufficient details to create the desired scene. Don't type, add a dog to the image type, a dog playfully runs across the field from out of frame. Prompts should use positive phrasing. Negative prompts, or prompts that describe what shouldn't happen, are not supported in the generative video models. Including a negative prompt may result in the opposite happening. Don't say, the camera doesn't move, no movement, no clouds in the sky. Instead say, static camera, the camera remains still, a clear blue sky. Text only prompting. Text-only prompts are most effective when they follow a clear structure that divides details about the scene, subject, and camera movement into separate sections. Using the following structure should help provide consistent results while you're familiarizing yourself with Gen 3 Alpha. Camera movement, establishing scene, additional details. Using this structure, your prompt for a woman standing in a tropical rainforest might look like this. Low angle static shot. The camera is angled up at a woman wearing all orange as she stands in a tropical rainforest with colorful flora. The dramatic sky is overcast and gray. Repeating or reinforcing key ideas in different sections of your prompt can help increase adherence in the output. For example, you might note that the camera quickly flies through the scenes in a hyperspeed shot. Try to keep your prompt focused on what should be in the scene. For example, you would prompt for a clear sky rather than a sky with no clouds. Image plus text prompting. When using input images, use a simple and direct text prompt that describes the movement you'd like in the output. You do not need to describe the contents of the image. In example, you might try the following prompt if using an input image that features a character. Subject cheerfully poses, her hands forming a peace sign. Using a text prompt that significantly differs from the input image may lead to unexpected results. Keep in mind that complex scene transitions may require multiple iterations to achieve the desired output. Sample prompts. Seamless transitions. Continuous hyperspeed. FPV footage. The camera seamlessly flies through a glacial canyon to a dreamy cloudscape. Wow, I really like that actually. Camera movement. A glowing ocean at nighttime with bioluminescent creatures underwater. The camera starts with a macro close-up of a glowing jellyfish and then expands to reveal the entire ocean lit up with various glowing colors under a starry sky. Camera movement. Begin with a macro shot of the jellyfish. Then gently pull back and up to showcase the glowing ocean. I input that whole paragraph to get this beautiful shot. You can see how camera movement is going to be important for telling your story. Text title cards a title screen with dynamic movement. The scene starts at a colorful paint-covered wall. Suddenly, black paint pours on the wall to form the word runway. The dripping paint is detailed and textured and centered. Superb cinematic lighting. 
Uh, this is something I think people don't use enough. I've been a professional animator for 20 years now, and I know that animated titles are always going to be in demand. And they used to be very time consuming. So here's a pro tip. Generate a few of these, put them together in a demo reel, and you'll be rolling in that delicious AI dough. Results may vary, but as long as you work hard, listen to your clients, and follow my animator Draw Your Own Destiny course, you should have everything you need to make your own animation dream career come true. Prompt keywords. Keywords can be beneficial to achieve specific styles in your output. Ensuring that keywords are cohesive with your overall prompt will make them more apparent in your output. In example, Including keywords about skin texture wouldn't be beneficial to a wide angle shot where the camera is not closely focused on a face. A wide angle shot might instead benefit from additional details about the environment. While keeping this cohesiveness in mind, below are different keywords you can experiment with while drafting your prompts. Now for the fun part, camera styles. On the left is the keyword used and the right is the output. Low angle. High angle. Overhead. FPV, handheld, wide angle, close up, macro cinematography, over the shoulder, tracking, establishing wide, 50 millimeter lens, snorri cam, Realistic documentary, camcorder, lighting styles, diffused lighting, silhouette, lens flare, backlit, side lit, color gel lighting. In cinematography, gels are like plastic colored filters that go over a light and can tint it a pretty extreme color, as seen here with the red light. Venetian lighting. Movement speeds. Dynamic motion. Slow motion. Fast motion. Time lapse. Movement types. Grows. Emerges explodes, ascends, undulates, warps, transforms, ripples, shatters, unfolds, vortex, Style and aesthetic, moody, cinematic, iridescent, home video VHS, glitchcore, text styles, bold, graffiti, neon, varsity, embroidery. Bracket placeholders. For creating custom presets that are easy to reuse, you can also put part of your prompt in brackets to one-click replace the text. For example, the camera seamlessly flies through a subject location. When saved as a preset, this allows you to one-click replace the bracket area and start typing your text whenever you reuse it. If you're going to use Runway, or if you're not sure if it's worth the money yet, let me give you an overview of what else it can do for your music video. I'm not affiliated with Runway. This is just the best AI video platform I have used so far, and I'm loving it. So now say you want absolute control over the AI generated videos, and you want to know it's all your material that is pulling from. You can train the models, train the AI model from your own images. So this guy put his Facebook photos into it, and then now he can be in any outfit, in any situation. He's a firefighter, he's a doctor, so Runway let him create his own AI model from his images. And then he goes to text to image. He changes the model to himself. And then he types in professional studio portraits. And there it is. 
and then you take this image into video and it turns into video and then he's singing or whatever walking down the street playing volleyball whatever you want if you want more control this brush tool allows for more detailed control you just you highlight the areas and like the leaves and the grass and the water will all animate to the strength you set the brush I thought that might come in handy and then there's a couple other examples here I believe we are just at the beginning of what will be an entire industry they even have custom voice models just like well said labs or eleven labs remember that if you're going to actually work on a serious project you need the unlimited video plan subscription video generation eats up those credits fast but that plan only gives you unlimited video creation and everything else will still use your limited monthly credits so look into the plans closely before you subscribe but what's nice is if you have Adobe you can use Adobe Firefly to create AI images and bring them into runway to animate them but it's also just nice that they have all these tools here lip sync is really neat all you have to do is upload an image or a video file generate or upload some audio and then real quick I was just gonna run through all these other tools they have which just goes to show that they're really trying to be the AI video toolbox and I think all these amazing tools fly under everyone's radar because they are kind of hidden under the all tools menu so they have the video to video tool which is like really amazing filters for your videos if you have a guy walking down the street and want it to look like a Pixar movie or claymation you can do that and actually that is nice for more control because you can act out the scene with your own body then bring into the video to video generator and change yourself into another character you can generate audio lip sync a uh, video like we went over removing backgrounds image alterations expanding the images frame interpolation which means if you have a few frames of something or an illustrated character in a few poses it will animate the frames in between them the more frames you have the easier it is for it but you could just have frame one the beginning and the last one of whatever action the character is doing and then it does an amazing job of filling in the blanks 3d capture 3d models of things and then create new dynamic scenes 3d textures and then removing people from videos with in painting color grading slow motion blurring faces depth of field this thing extracting depth which lets you move these images by combining this program and another program inside of after effects and then you basically just turn an image into a 3d environment with a lot of control really fun if you want to get into that just search for tutorials on extracting depth maps it'll clean audio remove silences it'll write the transcripts it'll create the subtitles motion tracking so they're really giving you a lot of value now you're ready to make your own exciting music video which is unbelievably easy thanks to AI watch my tutorial and astound your friends and family who thought you were just spending your time hiding out in a cave in Iceland lately Defense.